Hi, my name is Ethan. I've been at Pine View since fourth grade. I like playing with Legos, reading books, and sailing, which I just started. Adventurous, intelligent, and kind. Greg and Mindy Isaacs know they got lucky with their son, Ethan. We always thought he would accomplish great things because of who he is. He's extremely bright, uh, gifted. But a day on the water turned into tragedy. The 10-year-old was taking sailing lessons in Sarasota. He fell out of his sailboat. An instructor in a powerboat tried to help, but he landed on the throttle. The propeller took Ethan's life. Turning heartbreak into helping others, mom and dad are now using their pain to push for a law that would require boat operators to wear a kill switch in all Florida waters. It means a lot to us because he's, uh, we knew some way he would leave his mark on this world and through this law he is. If I was to either leave the helm or get thrown from the boat, it would automatically pull this out and at that point the engine is disengaged. Freedom Boat Club manager Ryan Brunette says it's a good idea and while it's not a law now, most boats have the option and operators should already be using it. A stray boat can not only run over whoever falls out, it can keep going and crash into other boats or docks. It is something that we uh, we recommend. Um, it is you know, obviously an easy safety feature. It doesn't take much longer than uh, you know putting on a seatbelt. Uh, we don't think that uh, it really eliminates any of the, the pleasure that you can get from boating, and it's definitely a great safety feature. How do you feel about getting it passed? I feel like our chances are good. State Representative Fiona McFarland is taking the proposal to the Florida House. Another lawmaker is bringing the bill to the Senate. And coming on April 1st, a nationwide law goes into effect making drivers of boats under 26 feet wear one in federal waters. But here in the Sunshine State, that's miles offshore. This bill would make it required in all public waterways across the state, and police could ticket anyone who doesn't follow the rules. The good news is that boats have been required to be manufactured with this technology for quite a long time. And even before the requirement, most manufacturers were providing this anyways, because it just, again, makes good boating sense. The Isaacs family will keep pushing for a kill switch bill, hoping people pay attention to the safety features that most boats already have. It's just been so difficult to heal from not having him with us today. And so we really do hope that people can hear our story and know that um, we don't want any other family to go through this. You know, this is something that no parent should have to experience. It's all in honor of a bright young man who lives on through his family. I just like nosebleeds, headaches,